Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Irwin 44202 drill press adjustable wood bit, or number 2R, which is adjustable from 7 8 to 3 inch for use with a hand brace is what this bit is used for. I don't recall the last time I sold a hand brace, much less used one. Um, that's for a brace. That is a doesn't matter if your power cord breaks, that is just for a good old brace, is what it's for. Uh, nice picture of a brace right there. Um, when I first <laughs> got started selling hardware in this here family business, a uh, customer would walk in and look for bits like this, and I'd say, why don't you just use a, a, a you know, a, a, a regular drill? And he says, that's no way to do carpentry. <laughs> you know, he basically said, that's... You know why would you why would you, why would you stoop to such lows? Um, so this bit is adjustable from seven eighths. Obviously, we're going to loosen that nut and we're going to be able to adjust this out. Looks like it's set on about two inch right now. I'm going to use a crescent wrench for this. That comes loose pretty easily. Will allow you to move that around. Okay. You can see the hash line that's there. Seven eighths would be at a minimum. Okay, so you can, you know, what I'm trying to illustrate is that <clears throat> from the center of the uh, self-feeding bit to the scoring cutter, it's 7 sixteenths of an inch would give you your, your 7 eighths minimum. Of course, then sliding that out, it's going to allow you to set that on your line. This was probably set at 2 and an eighth. It's likely what it was set at. I would always be, you know, checking that myself to make sure that it was, that it made sense where I was going to have that before I, um, you know, this is, you know, not going to give you the most highest level of ultimate precision. And just tightening that back up so it doesn't slide on the client in transit. Okay. Nice and rigid again. Overall length. It's about eight and three quarter inch. Again, that's a self-centering bit that's there. Once you get that started, and that's probably why you're going to use a brace, because self-centering bits have a tendency to go wham, get started really fast before you're ready for it, and they'll obviously core that out, and then you're going to score around. You're going to have your cutting edge. You're going to be lifting the material out of the center. You're going to be scoring it around the perimeter. That's how you're going to work all that material out. Now, there is some information below this video. Let's switch to the screen view and let's take a closer look at that supporting documentation. Here is the item that we are looking at. Adjustable cutting blade bores a variety of hole size. 19 size holes in increments of eighth of an inch. That would be the graduation marks on here. Uh, yeah, they look certainly closer than an eighth, but keep in mind you're doubling that. Shank size 11 32nd for a hand brace. Sold as each. Bit selection guide. Let's take a closer look at that. Very handy because it will uh, give you definitions of primary types of bits that you'll end up using for different types of applications. And those columns uh, give you a size range, a typical trade, and application benefit. You know, so you know, what would you use a Forstner bit for? Well, it is indeed for fine woodworking or cabinet making. The Forstner bit will provide you with a very flat end sort of bit that you would use in concealed or European style hinges. So very appropriate um, way to allow us to understand what we're doing better. Spade bits, you know, carpentry, electrical, plumbing, rough sort of work. Things that, uh, uh, drilling that would not necessarily be a, an exposed or a finished look. Reference guide, not much really that's going to help you here on this wood bit. Um, really, 
uh, at all, except that there is a, um, a cutting speed guide that's here. The first three pages are really a drill and uh, a tap size chart and gives you the drill bit that you need to prep uh, in the piece when you're tapping holes. Not related at all to woodworking, but there it is. Product brochure, that's handy. Before we get there, let's copy our part number. and Let's open up product brochure. Do a find function on your keyboard for 44202. What's nice about that is you'll be able to find the sister products that go along with it in different size ranges. The 01, the 5002, and then the 4202. 4801, I should say. Drill press or hand brace. You can use that in. And the rest of this document is very helpful because it will obviously allow you to review all things wood drilling related from Irwin. Okay? It's a pretty handy document. Spade bits, chucks, auger bits, uh, although I think a lot of their auger bits they've unfortunately discontinued. Anyway, let's wrap up this video on camera, but before we do, the link here below this video to the manufacturer's page will allow you to review not only all of the Irwin products we sell by means of this horizontal navigation, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the most current product catalog. This is quite outdated as of this time, but until they produce or publish a updated catalog, that's the one we've got. Let's wrap up this video on camera. Okay, in conclusion, I'm partial to Irwin, not only because I'm a distributor, but because I use the products personally and can attest to the high performance of much of the product line. Uh, you need to be careful with these self-centering bits, you know, in a brace. Uh, you're going to have total control over the uh, feed speed of the bit itself. But if you're going to try to put this into a drill press, be mindful that bit's going to, it's going to, well, you've got a drill press, so you, can, you also control that as well. Um, but self-centering bits when you're not using it in a drill press or a brace. Uh, nice quality item. Any questions on the Irwin 44202 adjustable lockhead wood bit or any other Irwin product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.